Dr. Potty, thank you for your recipes. Hello and welcome to Awake and Bake. I am Japati, your host, and today we have a very wonderful guest. He is a graduate of Columbia Medical School. He is a holistic physician, a diplomat of Ayurveda, and he is director of the Tree of Life Rejuvenation Center. We are very happy to welcome a gentleman who is also a leading authority in the world on nutritional and spiritual healing and raw foods. We'd like to welcome our wonderful guest, Dr. Gabriel Cousins. Pleasure to have you here. It's a delight to be here. So, we're wondering if you could help us with the idea of what is a vegan? From a nutritional point of view, a vegan is one who does not eat meat, fish, chicken, or dairy. And tell me, what is the reason for doing this? Why not uh, have the meats and all these other things? Uh, what is the benefits to being vegan? There are really many levels of, of why one should be a vegan. And let's just start with a, a spiritual aspect. In the uh, Torah, which people know as the Old Testament, Genesis 1.29 gives the dietary blueprint for the healing of the planet and for healing of people. And that blueprint is for you every seed, herb-bearing seed, and every fruit of every tree that bears seed is your food. Now why? Why do we have that kind of statement directly at the beginning? And why is it that in uh, the uh, Ayurvedic traditions, the yogic traditions really, again, at this point in time, a vegan rather than a vegetarian, which is dairy, is so important because what we eat affects our mind. And when our mind is clear, because we eat pure food and healthy food, then our spirit becomes clear and we're able to go deep into the experience of who we are, into the divine. Once we move from that place, we begin to look at, well, why does that work? One reason is it creates what we call in India ahimsa. Oh, what? Ahimsa, which means nonviolence, oh, yes. active nonviolence. I thought you were taking a sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> and how come? When we look at it, when we're not creating cruelty uh, to animals, we create peace. When we're not disrupting the environment, we create peace. And let me explain very clearly that a vegan way of life minimizes the amount of destruction to the ecology in a very major way, whereas a meat-centered diet is a hoarding of resources on every level. For example, a vegan literally saves 1.5 million gallons of water a year. It's a lot of water. Another piece to this, what we call ahimsa or creating peace, is feeding the poor. And the literature suggests that if just 10% of the people in the United States became vegan, there would be enough food to feed the 60 million people who starve to death each year. And that's an amazing statement when you realize that 15 million of those people are children, and when you realize that up to 850 million people are malnourished on the planet. More people have died in the last 10 years from starvation than from all the wars in the last 150 years. So we feed the hungry. That creates peace. We also take care of our health. Being a vegan allows a person to live longer, have perhaps 40% less cancer than meat eaters, 60% less heart disease. And those are conservative statements. I would think that yeah. for myself and other people, this is very wonderful to know, but I'm wondering what about as you starting to talk about the energy you have more or the health 
uh, the being perhaps less uh, become less stronger body, more immunity, uh, sickness less, and things of this. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, vegans. The research over the years have shown that vegans generally live significantly longer. When we look at basic, I'm going to use the word vegetarian, but the basic vegan cultures, um, the Hunzas, the vegan Kama Kama Indians the Mayan Indians, they're a cross between vegan and, and they have some, uh, they have a little bit of dairy, um, and they are the longest lived people on the planet in general. So vegans live longer generally. A vegan male lives about six years longer. Uh, vegan women have five, uh, have only 20 percent of the osteoporosis that a meat-eating woman has. So there's a very significant difference. But energy is a really beautiful example. And they're probably all more, just much healthier people, vegans. Generally, more healthy.